Well, hello, gentlemen from Banff. I am uh, just spending the weekend here uh, for three days here, Saturday morning, and just staying at the Hidden Ridge Ranch in the beautiful Banff. As you can see, the gorgeous and absolutely breathtaking mountain range in the background there in the tree. I had a choice. I could either focus in on my face or the mountains and you see the mountains a little clearer so for those of you who've seen enough of my face and by the way you can always feel free to unsubscribe uh, this is not a requirement for anybody to be part of this I just for those of you who started off in the men's ministry with me particularly the uh, Friday morning breakfast crew um, and again I will not be leading a Friday morning men's breakfast any longer in Bible study uh, at least for this season I've had to lay that down I've got some other things that the Lord has laid upon my heart are a greater priority right now and with that I still want to be an encouragement I would still want to be a part of your life with that this is the first of hopefully many of a section on the website called empowerment or empowering so again the vision and mission of rise and shine life.com is to sharpen empower equip and engage the body of Christ this would be the first of the empowerment side and this would be in a subsection uh, I like to call the men's corner what do you guys think of that well nevertheless this isn't a uh, democracy here for those of you who have felt that I am uh, a little bit overbearing having your own website affords you the opportunity to do that sort of thing again unsubscribe very easy so um, yeah, I wanted to share something really inspiring here. Uh, i got to thank my good friend, Chris. Chris, thank you. I do intend to get this book back to you at some point. It's called The Power of Vision and uh, Keys to Achieving Personal and Corporate Destiny by Dr. Miles Monroe, the late Dr. Miles Monroe, unfortunately. He did pass away last November. Principles and Power of Vision. It's been a tremendous, tremendous blessing to me, Chris. Thank you again. I do intend to get the book back to you. Just please bear with me here to get through this because I've just got lots going on right now. Stay in the fight, gentlemen. Stay in the fight. I'm just going to read this part here. Again, I want to inspire you from every available resource with this website to equip and empower you. And uh, in this section of empowerment, Dr. Miles Monroe is encouraging us all to stay in the fight. Once when I was staying in a hotel in Israel, I couldn't sleep because I wasn't yet used to the time difference. At about 2 in the morning, I was up watching a boxing match on television. It was a 12-round title match, and the boxer from Mexico was pummeling the boxer from the United States. Every time the American boxer moved forward to fight, the other boxer pounded him. He subtitles the next part here says, Fight until you feel the joy of victory. By the sixth round, the U.S. boxer was getting beaten badly. And at the end of the round, he stumbled back into his corner, sat down on the stool, and sagged as if he were a sack of potatoes. Ever been there? I, I've lived there. Sack of potatoes. Where are we here? Then I saw something happen. In seconds, several men went to work on him. One grabbed a bucket of water and doused him with it. The next grabbed a soaking wet sponge and squeezed water all over his face. Another applied ointment to soothe his wounds. These men were all talking to him at once, and they were rubbing him down as they talked. Even though he was getting trounced, they were telling him, You can do this. You can get back out there. You're strong. You're better than he is. One of the men said, keep your left hook, okay? Keep your left hook. He's a slow left. You can get him with that left. After about two minutes, the boxer jumped up, saying, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He ran back out there, and everything changed in the seventh round. Are you gentlemen been waiting patiently for a seventh round moment in your life? I'm telling you, ho, 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 ho. When you get a hold of the seventh round, glory be to God. Seven is a powerful number. Seven is a life-changing number. I've just come into my seventh round, men. Guess who won the fight? The one who had been about to quit in the sixth round. 
won the fight and received the prize. There was blood everywhere, but under that blood was the champion. When he won the decision, all his strength came back. He ran around the room screaming, when you win, you forget all the pounding you received during the fight. Sometimes you will get beaten up pretty badly in life, but stay in the fight. Fight until you feel the joy of victory. When you think you're going to lose and you stumble back into the corner of life, the Lord will come and pour the cruel water of his word on your head. He will take the ointment of the Holy Spirit and bring healing to your wounds. He will rub life back into your spirit so you can jump back and say, Hey, come on life. Just like the boxer's coaching team, the Holy Spirit speaks good things into your spirit, such as, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Life will be tough, but get back out there and start throwing blows. Keep your left up. That's persistence. We know that God wants us to be fighters because the Bible calls us soldiers. 2 Timothy 2, 3-4 We are warriors. We are people of battle. The Bible also refers to us as those who wrestle. Ephesians 6, 12 This is because we don't just receive medals from God. We earn them. If God didn't want you to fight, he wouldn't have given you the medal without the conflict. Or rather, he would have given you the medal without the conflict. The Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Some people don't have a testimony over overcoming. Their testimony is, I went through fire and I got burned. I went under the water and I almost drowned. I have scars in my life. Let me testify about how I've been beaten up. Other people are so spiritually clean cut that you never know they've had yet had yet a scrimmage with the devil. Yet those who have a true testimony usually don't even have to talk about it because it's evident in their lives. You may have bumps and bruises, but keep on walking toward your goal, trusting in God. It's going to get tough, but you have what it takes to win, because God has promised that he will stay with you and work out the steps of your life plan. I like what Paul said in Romans 8, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger? or sword? No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us and called us and gave us our visions. It is those who endure to the end who succeed. God has put so much in you that if you are willing to capture it, nothing can stop you. There is not enough darkness in the world to extinguish the light God has put within you. The light of God's vision in your heart is so strong and bright that all the darkness of the planet, all the darkness of people's opinions, and all the darkness of past failures can never put it out.